Hey guys, without additional compliments, I want to tell you how you can do interior lighting inside Unreal Engine. Uh, before I start, I want to say something. Uh, I hate to make things so complicated and unattainable. So in this channel, everything is simple. If you are looking for hot things, there are many on the internet. So let's get a start. Uh, first, uh, we need a directional light and also some elements which uh, you have to add uh, basically skylight uh, and searching for volumetric cloud and we need also exponential fog Keep, keep everything movable so uh, we want to use lumen for lighting and now we want to set up a skylight I want to use an HDR Uh, which I downloaded uh, from HDR Heaven. And that's totally free and you can use also. We can drag into it. Um, I don't like uh, directional light effect, so I put it on top. Make sure you enable a uh, real time capture and increase the intensity a bit. Um, that's our ambient light. Keep in mind that's our ambient light. Uh, we will add some lighting to achieve uh, nice shadows basically. Here, I, I'm using rectangle light uh, for better shadows. Uh, use it pretty simple. Don't do uh, too much. Keep everything simple. Uh, this is a nice tip uh, I want to use here is, before that, make sure you, you're enabled a general mesh distance field as well. Uh, Okay, we want to enable distance field shadows. And as you can see, it's really nice effect. I'm totally in love with these shadows. I love those dirty effect uh, on a wall. Okay, I want to add another one to the left side also to achieve better results. That's all your test. You are totally free and you can enjoy it. Okay, I love this scene now. Just we have to do some balance for the scene. Uh, make it more warm a bit. Uh, of course, not too much. Uh, I don't like bloom here. Uh, I want to keep everything so clean and commercial. Uh, all is simple. I don't want to do magic here and weird effects.
Well, this is important part. Uh, I want to increase shadows contrast. That's really helpful to make a scene more sharp and looking great. And maybe some more in this area, some small light, like in distance, distance field shadows. Uh, let's try. Mm. Uh, that's really high. Not bad. Uh, let's see what happened. For, uh, and also here you can add the spotlight uh, with the tint and add some warm effect here. Maybe can it make it better? Uh, try everything. Don't screw. That's your dream and. You can do everything. <laughs> okay, I think I don't like this. That's too much. <laughs> No, I still don't like that effect of directional light, so I'm gonna delete it. No, that's really dirty and disgusting. Keep everything cloudy and really simple and beautiful as this Scandinavian design. Soft shadows, cloudy mood, which I love it. And change a bit that temperature to make it uh, warm, naturally warm, basically. Move around to get a better result. Let's try, uh, yeah, maybe this. I want to increase that effect you can see on the wall. I love it because I love it, but don't make it too much again. Also here, I love that effect. I want to increase. But I think here we have too much ambient light. Maybe I have decrease that. Let's try everything. Also floor is flat. Um, add some reflective effect. Yeah, better. Uh, I think I love those little shadows. I think everything is looking pretty good. I want to decrease, yeah, that uh, ambient light and also increase resolution of our HDR. I like it. Um, I really like it. As you can see, everything is pretty simple. I didn't use too much light, a lot of light and a lot of stuff and parameters. But everything is looking great. We can make it better. Uh, but to be honest, I want to tell you uh, some basic tips. Uh, 
because you asked me a lot and be sure you say your request and your re questions in the comments uh, uh, also please subscribe and if you like it Please subscribe our channel and share the link with your friends. That's really helpful for for us, and that's really great support. Care yourself, and goodbye.